Buffalo's War Memorial Stadium and it's Buffalo's ball in the first quarter as the unbeaten Bills are looking for their 10th straight win. Watch Eisenhower and Buonacani drop Jack Kemp for a nine-yard loss. But the Buffalo veteran never loses his poise. On the very next play, he fires to Glenn Bass, who's fooled the Patriots completely and goes in for the touchdown. Seven to nothing, Buffalo. Second quarter, and the Patriots start moving. Perilli with a swing pass to Larry Guerin, which picks up 15 yards to the Buffalo 20. Three downs later, Babe Perilli caps the drive with a touchdown strike to Tony Romeo. And it's Buffalo 10, the Patriots 7. Bob Yates kicks off to the Buffalo Bills. Haygood Clark takes the ball for Buffalo. But he fumbles, and Mike Dukes recovers for the Patriots of the Buffalo 27. With lightning speed, the Patriots take advantage of the big break. Perilli is hurried, but he still finds Gino in the end zone, and the Patriots go ahead 14 to 10. Third quarter, and the Boston Blitz. Darrell LaMonica trying to pass, has the ball batted from his hands, and Larry Eisenhower pounces on it. First down and goal to go for the Patriots. Two plays later, Babe Perilli threads the needle to Gino Capaletti, and the Patriots draw to within seven points, 28 to 21. Final period, Perilli sends a swing pass to Garen for a touchdown, and the score is 28 to 27. Then Boston tries and makes a two-point conversion. Perilli to Capaletti, 29 to 28 in favor of the Patriots. Jack Kemp and the future AFL champions pull out every stop. Kemp is bottled up, can't find a receiver, runs up the middle, but he loses the football, and Don Webb recovers for the Patriots. Now Perilli and Capaletti put the game on ice. Babe hits Gino on the dead run, and he flies straight to the end zone. And the Patriots beat Buffalo 36 to 28. <laughs> 